The federal government is about to run out of money. They've hit the limit on how much debt they can get us into. And President Biden, he wants two more years of deeper debt, which is long enough to just push it past the 2024 elections. Republicans don't seem to like that very much, and they look like they're not going to budge on it. And now the United States is facing a very real possibility, more so than before, of hitting the debt ceiling. So what does that mean, and would it really be that bad? Well, to answer these questions, we have with us Jeffrey Tucker. He's founder and president of the Brownstone Institute. Hey, Mr. Tucker, thank you for being with us. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Well, you know, I think the big question with the debt ceiling, I guess, first off, is what happens if we just hit it and let it happen? Well, presumably then the U.S. debt would be downgraded. At least that's the forecast. Uh, Congress is not allowed to spend any more money. The government uh, is going to be hitting up against, you know, bumping up against these uh, spending limits. <clears throat> so, you know, they'll play around with shutdowns and that sort of thing. I mean, we've been here before, Josh. You know about this whole racket. What they do is uh, they say, oh, we're out of money. We're being starved uh, by the bad Republicans. So now we have to close the passport office so you can't get your passport. We have to close national parks and we're going to shut down the Washington Monument. <laughs> In Washington, they call it the Washington Monument ploy, right? So you shut down all the things about government that people actually use, like the Smithsonian, but you keep everything else uh, uh, running uh, just as a way of, of twisting uh, people's uh, people's arms. But look, I mean, the Republicans shouldn't budge. They, they should uh, definitely push back on this and, and not listen to these wild threats of, of default. Um, you know, it's not going to come to default. That's not going to happen. But, you know, even I, I, I think it's, it's worth speculating what happens if the U.S. Uh, does get its debt downgraded. That means I, I was that gonna it's going to ask you that. I mean, mm -hmm. is, is that really so bad, to be honest? It, it really isn't. I thought it was funny the other day in the CNN town hall with Trump. Trump just said, uh, so what? We default. I mean, I thought that was a hilarious <laughs> comment. He, he, he said like, it's bound to happen anyways. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, would, I think he might be the first major public figure in many decades who said, if maybe ever, who's ever said anything like that. So I was kind of proud of him for that. Uh, in a sense, it, what it does is it, it downgrades the uh, credit status of the United States, which, as you suggest, would not be a, a bad thing. I mean, I don't know how you're going to get the government under control. Uh, it, it's, it's wildly uh, too big. Uh, depending on how you want to, you know, anywhere between 10% and 99% too big. I mean, you know, so uh, downgrading the debt would, would not be a bad thing. At least it would inspire some level of, of frugality in Washington. We've got to have some means to do it. Nothing else seems to work. Well, you know, and Biden's saying that America is not a deadbeat nation and uh, has to pay its debts. I mean, isn't the argument not that I mean, is taking out a credit card to pay off your other credit cards, is that being like not a deadbeat? Like, what, what do you make of that? What he's saying? I, I don't I don't get uh, it, to be honest. Yeah. You know, Josh, that's that's actually a beautiful analogy. Going into further debt does not fix your existing debt problems. And every American family knows that. And really, the uh, government is in exactly the same situation as the average household. The only difference is that they have a money printer in the basement that they uh, can run whatever they want. Right. So this is very dangerous because going into further debt like this without the revenue to support it is only going to lead to ever higher inflation which is called debt monetization and and that's what's caused uh, the value of the American domestic dollar in terms of goods goods and services to lose 15 cents of value over the last three years with no end in sight so yeah the more we continue to live beyond our means the more they're going to rely on these kind of uh, 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 secret uh, hidden taxes of inflation to, to fund things. There are ways to balance the the books uh, in in Washington. I mean, there there are massive budget cuts that could be made in all these administrative agencies that are not listed in the U.S. Constitution. Uh, you don't even have to trans tra uh, touch transfer payments. Um, assets can be sold. I mean, the U.S. owns vast amounts of land, particularly in the West, that could be sold off and and uh, earning money without raising taxes there's ways to do it uh, all we need is the political will and the question is what is going to inspire that political will 
And the, the answer is you've got to hold a hard line. And I think Rand Paul and others are right about this. I'm kind of proud of the Republicans for standing up. We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, well, I think you hit it on the on the head too that uh, you know inflation really is a hidden tax, and I think we've been we're being lied to, at least in my opinion. You know, we're being told the only two options are either default or you know basically get deeper into debt. Neither of which I think are going to solve things. And you're saying there are options for it. I guess, there are just, you plenty know, 30, of 30 seconds, you were to t if you were to give them a recommendation, what would it be? Uh, it would be to not go along with the Biden administration, hold the line, and when they shut down the government and start the Washington Monument ploy, ploy uh, speak to the American people. The Republicans should explain exactly what's going on. They need to come on your show. They need to be all over social media. They need to use every media outlet possible to explain that the American people are being blackmailed by the Democrats right now into having ever higher taxes, ever more spending, ever more inflation. And we cannot go this way because this way lies a bankruptcy. So the shutdown can be endured as long as we have to, but we are not gonna go the way of a further impoverishment and a decline of, 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 American, of the American spirit just because these profligate uh, Democrats in Washington want ever more spending and really, quite frankly, socialism. We're not going to go that way. Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey Tucker, thank you so much. Appreciate it.